That's Kian Corla. I think when you look at how this whole situation arose, you find that mistakes were repeated again and again by the system. In the beginning, we had a situation where you had laboratories of variable quality, and I think that the supplementary report published in June of this year outlines the issues in relation to the laboratories and the protocols involved in appointing, well, the non-protocols appointed in some cases, uh, the difficulties with the tendering process. So there seems to have been a total failure. Now, that was bad enough, but the system then compounded the failure. And I find it hard when you're talking about people's, literally people's lives, to understand a situation where people then knew that mistakes had been made and very, very serious errors had been made. And they didn't go back immediately and tell the people involved. And I wonder how often this kind of thing is going to happen. Before we realised that it's bad, it's terrible to make, have a sloppy system, which was involved in this case. But when you then don't act properly when it comes to light, it's unforgivable. And that nothing we can do now is ever going to compensate the people for the terrible wrong that was involved in this whole process. I have to say that a lot of credit has to go to the people who have taken the court cases, both Vicky Phelan and Ruth Morrissey, and particularly Vicky who went first to the court and highlighted this whole issue and brought it to national public attention, that somebody else had to go to court so long after that case became obvious and because it, since after it was decided, shows a dysfunctional system and a system that seems to be all about rules and law, not about heart, compassion and admittance of serious mistakes. And what I would hope is this, that in setting up this tribunal, its operation will be one of compassion, understanding and a recognition of the small steps we're trying to put, not to put anything right, because it will never be put right, but to deal with the very, very serious, horrendous fallout of what was a monumental comedy, well, I hate using the word comedy, but monumental series of errors. And I would hope that the tribunal powers will operate in such a way that the people who are clearly identifiable and where there's a clear entry into getting your hearing heard would have the least intrusive and the most compassionate approach taken to their cases. Because unlike other tribunals we might have set up in the past, this is going to be very, very limited in terms of the gross numbers relative to the population. And the situation really here is just to decide what should be done in terms of compensation and other supports for these people, for the people affected. So, Minister, there have been enough, in my view, delays, mistakes, and if I might say harsh treatment and the state getting involved in forcing people to go to court, I think now compassion, understanding, big-heartedness have to be the measure of this tribunal when it's set up, not legalism, not nitpicking, and not meanness. Oh my God. And